Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate Scratch Live properly. Calibration is one of the most important steps when you first get Scratch Live and uh, set it up. Uh, but it is often overlooked by a lot of people and many people don't even know you're supposed to calibrate. Uh, calibration is probably the most important thing you need to do uh, whenever you change your setup location and you move your SL1, your SL3, your TTM57. If you do not calibrate whenever you do this, uh, change your setup location, uh, you're bound to run into problems sooner or later. Uh, so as I mentioned, a lot of people don't calibrate or they don't even know how to calibrate or you're supposed to calibrate in the first place. So I'm going to be going through and taking a look at how to calibrate Scratch Live properly. And it is really a simple process uh, that can uh, solve a lot of problems and issues that you're having with Scratch Live because a lot of problems in Scratch Live are related to uh, not calibrating properly. And so I'm just going to go through and show you how to do it. It's a very simple thing to do. And so there's no reason you shouldn't do it. Now, an important thing to note is you want to calibrate at the volume you're going to be playing at. You don't want to calibrate in silence unless you're, you know, playing at home in your headphones or something. But obviously you're playing at a club, at a gig or something, you're going to have loud music playing. So you want to calibrate at that volume you're going to be playing at. Now, when you're, usually when you come to a club, unless you're playing, you know, exclusively the whole night, uh, you might be playing after someone else. So, uh, you're going to need to calibrate at, you're going to first need to hook up everything to your SL1, your SL3, your TTM57. And, you know, that's a video for another discussion, uh, how to switch DJs out and stuff like that. Uh, but whatever you do, you need to calibrate at the volume you're going to be playing at. It doesn't matter what source is playing. It could be a regular vinyl or a CD or, you know, uh, but what I like to do is play my first song in internal mode. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's just drag the song to the right deck. It doesn't matter which one. And we're going to play it in internal mode. Turn it just a little bit so you can hear me better. So as mentioned, you want to calibrate at the volume you're going to be playing at. So we got the first song playing in internal mode. Now, during this time, you want to go into the setup menu. And to calibrate, uh, we're going to look at these buttons right here, the estimate buttons and the threshold slider. Now, the threshold slider sets the signal-to-noise ratio in Scratch Live. Now, you don't want the slider too far to the left, because that's going to cause issues, but you don't want it too far to the right either. Uh, you want to try and find the golden mean. So, what you need to do is, if you're using turntables, just put the needle on the record, and you want the turntable to stop. You don't want the turntable to be plain. You want it to stop. And then all you have to do is click the estimate button right here, and that will move the slider uh, to the level that Scratch Live thinks is appropriate. So what I like to do is just click it a couple times to get a nice rough average. Or you can also just click and hold the estimate button down and the slider will jump around and uh, try and find the, the good average. So it appears to be around minus 48 uh, dB. So uh, that's basically it. That is how you calibrate. Simple as that. Uh, let me turn the music down now. Now as mentioned, you don't want it the slider too far to the left and you also don't want it too far to the right. If you have it too far to the left, uh, you're going to notice this number up here is going to be jumping around. And you don't want that because that's going to cause uh, playback issues, uh, especially when you lift the needle up. But you're going to hear a lot of digital grumbling, and I've already done a video on that. Uh, but let me just demonstrate it again. Uh, let me put it in relative mode. Uh, kind of hear that digital grumbling sound. You kind of see how the player is moving around like that. Uh, you don't want that. That is a calibration problem right there, and especially if you have bad ground wire connections. So let me just disconnect my ground wire, take it out. It's going to get really worse. It'll sound like that. So yeah, you obviously don't want that. So uh, make sure uh, your ground wires are connected properly. And so, uh, so yeah, so you don't want the estimate slider too far to the left. We also don't want it too far to the right either, uh, on minus 24, because uh, this threshold slider basically sets how sensitive the vinyl, uh, the Scratch Live vinyl is. So uh, the more to the left the slider is, the better uh, slower movements are going to be picked up. Uh, so that's good if, if you scratch, but uh, if it's too far to the right on minus 24, then... Uh, small movements on the control vinyl are not going to get picked up and you'll get uh, you know, digital uh, distortion when uh, the platter slows down uh, to a stop. It'll cut out uh, a little bit before it actually stops fully. So, 
uh, you want to find the golden mean when calibrating. So uh, mine was at about 48, uh, give or take a few. So uh, those are just some important notes about calibration. It's just uh, the goal is to try and find the golden mean. As I mentioned, the estimate uh, slider itself that sets the signal to noise ratio. Um, but that's it. That is how you calibrate Scratch Life properly. Uh, so remember, you want to calibrate at the volume you're going to be playing at. You don't want to calibrate in silence unless you're just playing at home in your headphones or something. Uh, record stop with the needle on the record and just click or hold the estimate uh, button right here to try and find the rough average. Uh, and you don't want these uh, numbers up here in the corner to be jumping around. You want them to stay at a solid 0, 0.0. And if they're moving around, that means you have it too far to the left. Uh, the slider that is, and so just move that back down to the right until the numbers stop uh, fluctuating. Uh, but there you go, that is how you calibrate Scratch Live properly.